The Atlas Centaur was a U.S. expendable launch vehicle derived from the Atlas D missile. Convair, the manufacturer of the Atlas, developed the Centaur upper stage specifically for that booster, sharing its pressure-stabilized tank structure. The Atlas was equipped with an upgraded propulsion system reinforced for the large upper stage and had elongated fuel tanks. Centaur was the first rocket stage to utilize liquid hydrogen LH2, and liquid oxygen LOTS, as propellants. There were considerable difficulties integrating the two vehicles, especially because Atlas Centaur would be almost 30% longer than the Atlas D. The first vehicle was launched on May 8. 1962, with the intention of performing a single burn with a partially fueled Centaur. At T plus 53 seconds, the Centaur stage ruptured and disintegrated, taking the Atlas with it in a matter of seconds. The failure was determined to be caused by an insulation panel that ripped off the Centaur during ascent, resulting in a surge in tank pressure when the LH2 overheated. The pneumatic system responded by venting propellant to reduce pressure levels, but eventually they exceeded the LH2 tank's structural strength. It then ruptured, causing flying debris to also rupture the Atlas's LOX tank, followed by complete destruction of the launch vehicle. The panel had been meant to jettison at 80 kilometers up when the air was thinner, but the mechanism holding it in place was designed inadequately, leading to premature separation. The insulation panels had already been suspected during Centaur development of being a potential problem area, and the possibility of an LH2 tank rupture was considered as a failure scenario. Testing was suspended while efforts were made to correct the Centaur's design flaws.